So a lot of resources are rightly directed towards increasing production, time, money, effort, uh, but if 10 to 30 percent of what's produced is lost before it reaches the consumer after it's harvested, then that's a waste of resources and that ultimately leads to lower food safety, lower food security, malnutrition, and poverty for many people uh, in Africa and elsewhere in the developing world. FPIL is supporting Kenyan smallholder farmers and small-scale traders by working with the Kenyan Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, along with private sector partners to first build awareness of good post-harvest practices so, so people are aware of the quantity and quality of food that they're actually losing in the post-harvest period. We also train them on new technologies and work with the private sector to make those technologies available to farmers and small-scale traders. We have four technologies that, that uh, we are trying really to ensure that uh, farmers adopt. One of them is uh, drying, effective drying using tablins. The second technology we, we have been pushing is on moisture measurement. We want farmers to use their kilometers. That gives us the uh, right moisture for storage. Then the third technology is uh, on uh, emetic bags. And the last one is uh, on the good post-harvest management of a uh, warehouse. Most of our farmers don't, uh, they, they don't keep the right practices that goes hand in hand with the proper storage. Like how do you keep rats away from the store? It's about how, how clean are you keeping the store. So the full goal of FPIL in Kenya is to improve the quantity and quality of food that's available for consumers along the post-harvest value chain. And the end result of that should be safer, higher quality food that's cheaper for consumers and higher income for producers, for small-scale farmers and small-scale traders.